Good morning, folks. The sunspots are returning today and have already reignited their CME activity. We've got seismic action increasing once again in some of the more relevant news stories of the year. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We'll look at the last 24 hours on our star. Bright sunspots incoming while dark coronal holes dominate the disk. No solar flares and we're still awaiting the faster solar wind stream from the southern coronal hole, taking its sweet time to arrive while the northern system can't miss us as it's transequatorial, also the primary cause of our expecting more large quakes soon. Looking to the incoming spots, we can see the first eruption even as the sunspot remains hidden over the limb where the material expands and snaps and ejects into space. It didn't look too bad as a starting block, but not only was Soho lagging behind, but those images were not put back and there was no visibility of the CME on coronagraphs. Top quake of the last day was a rare 5.7 that struck Ferndale offshore. This is actually much more rare of an earthquake than a larger six-pointer in many other places around the Ring of Fire. Top news begins here. OSIRIS-REx is on track to asteroid Bennu in 2018. It just used Earth's gravity to jump it up to higher speeds so it can reach Bennu. It calibrated its instruments as it looked back at Earth after the gravity assist, and hopefully it will be sampling the asteroid for a return to Earth years later. Up next, article and video describing space radiation and human health. They discuss Van Allen and solar particles, but confirm what you've heard time and time again. The cosmic rays from the galaxy are more dangerous. Worth noting that the only space weather health alert system on Earth is the Disaster Prediction app. And Chapter 6 in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun is half about space weather and our bodies. We also have the final stamp confirming previous studies that claim polar vortex was responsible for the bad winters in the northern hemisphere. As I said, it's following a number of papers stating that hypothesis and a number of others demonstrating that it is weak solar activity that causes the polar vortex winter events to be worse. That portion of the science is found in Chapter 4. Let's quickly do a storm genesis run around the central low pressure in the United States. The convergence line where air masses are slamming together is where air of different moisture, temperature, pressure, and electric potential meet and equalize in a very small area. Pop-up storms and perhaps even hail in a tornado are possible tonight. The hurricanes offshore are providing some amazing satellite views as Maria leaves the islands of the North Caribbean. It is slated in every single model to go north and then bend out to sea, and the only real change possible is at the hinge point. If the sun hits at the wrong time, it's going west. Hopefully that won't happen. Photospheric visibility of the sunspots is expected in less than 12 hours, and we'll be watching. We've got your wind maps, layers of the atmosphere, and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.